Hi guys, this is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips and in today's video, I'll be going through what I think is a very useful platform for the Solana ecosystem. It is called Soul Minter. Now, if you've been a subscriber to my channel for some time, you would know that I enjoy making videos, testing out new platforms, especially those that allow average users like me and you to simply and easily create their own cryptocurrency tokens or NFTs. You'd have seen me done videos on Ethereum, Algorand and even Cardano, but now I have one for Solana. Now personally, I myself was experimenting in the last couple of weeks with creating my own Solana tokens using the command line features, but nothing can beat a simple white label solution in which even non-tech persons can go and create their own tokens. So if you have your own great ideas that need to go on a blockchain like Solana, you now have a simple cost effective way of starting your project. In addition, the platform itself affords you other useful features such as a bulk sender, in other words you can quickly send or airdrop your tokens to your community members and you can even set up vesting schedules. For those that invested in your project, you can select certain times and dates where they can come to the platform and collect their tokens. And all of this is done through a very simple user friendly interface. And this is what I'm going to demonstrate for you today. But first things first, you need a Solana wallet. And for this tutorial, I'll be using the Phantom wallet. This elegantly designed wallet is a Chrome extension similar to MetaMask that allows you to interrupt the Solana blockchain in which you can send and receive funds, collect NFTs, swap tokens, and even stake your Solana right within the wallet. So I'll go here and click Add to Chrome. And now it has been added as an extension to my Chrome. I'm going to go ahead now and click create new wallet. Now of course you guys know you're not supposed to show these secret works to anyone. In fact, I'm only doing so because it's a tutorial. But you're supposed to get a pen and paper and write them down securely, preferably in your stone book. Once that's done, you click OK. And now it's time to create a password for your wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that now. And with this particular wallet, you actually have a keyboard shortcut and would recommend that you also follow them on Twitter and Discord. And my wallet has been successfully created. So now that's done, I head back over to Soul Mentor website. Over here in the top right hand corner is my Phantom wallet. As you can see, it is empty right now. I can deposit some Solana either from FTX or from another wallet that I own. But right now I'm gonna change the name of this wallet from generic wallet number one to George. All right, so this is George's wallet and I'm going to fund this wallet and come right back. So I went ahead and funded George's wallet with around 0.01 Solana, which is about 75 cents at the current price. Now you don't need a lot of Solana to use this platform. I also went ahead and created a second wallet called Tony and I'm going to interact between George and Tony for this practical exercise. The first thing you want to do is go over here and click on Launch Soul Minter. That will take you to the main dashboard and you're going to ask to connect your wallet. I'm going to use the Phantom extension and connect. So now it's connected here and it's connected as George. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Token Management. As you can see here, there are no tokens added to my wallet as yet. What we're going to do now is create a new SPL token. Now my token's name is going to be Caribbean Crypto Tips. And the ticker symbol is going to be CCT. And the number of decimal places, in this case I'm going to choose 9. You can choose any amount that you want and I'm going to click Create Token. I have to approve the transaction. And just like that, my token has been created. Well, more accurately, I should say the address for my token has been created because I haven't minted any of the tokens as yet. Now to do that, I must go to manage and then customize. Here you can see all the parameters for my token, such as the token address, the mint authority, 
This is the address that is responsible for making new tokens, as well as a freeze authority, meaning that I can also freeze tokens when necessary. I can either change or disable these two features, but for right now I'm going to focus on minting my tokens. And just like in my Algorand video, I'm going to mint my supply base off of various Caribbean area codes, 246 for Barbados, 868 for Trinidad, and for Jamaica, 886. And I purposely made a mistake on the last one because I added 10 extra tokens that I will probably have to delete or change in the future. But in any case, I'm going to click Mint Now, Approve. And if I go back to my dashboard and token management, I can see my full supply is here. So clearly I was a little absent money while making my token. Anyway, I can always fix that. You can always mint more of your token. In this case, I'm gonna mint this particular amount just to fix my supply. And when you go back to the dashboard now, Token management, manage. As you can see here, now this is my current supply. It is 10 tokens too much. So if I go back to my dashboard, I can also burn tokens. In this case, I'm gonna burn 10 tokens. So here you can see now my supply is correct based off of my parameters. So let me go and open up George's wallet now so you guys can see what the token looks like instead of your wallet. It shows up as unknown token and that's okay. The token is new and it hasn't been approved by the community as yet. But you can always fix this in your wallet by clicking on token and going up here to edit token metadata. You can give the token a name. And symbol. Now the correct information should show up in your wallet. I would recommend naming all of your tokens so you can avoid any ambiguity in the future, especially if you're going to be minting lots of SPL tokens. So Tony is George's friend and investor in the project. So George would like to send Tony some of his tokens. Now there are two ways that George can go about doing that. The simple and manual way would be to open up the wallet. Ask Tony for his address. In this case, this is Tony's wallet. Tony would copy the address and give it to George. And now George can simply go and click on Caribbean Crypto Tips token, send, paste in Tony's receiver address and send him 10 tokens. And just like that, Tony received the 10 CCT tokens. And once I go and open Tony's wallet, you can see the 10 tokens have arrived. Now another way George could distribute the tokens to Tony would be by using the dashboard feature, distribute. You go here, you paste in Tony's address, you press a comma, leave a space, and type in the amount you want to give Tony. You can also set out multiple addresses and multiple amounts so you can airdrop a number of people all at once. In this case, I'm just gonna click next, approve the transaction, Confirm. And just like that, Tony was airdrop 15 CCT tokens. You can always check Tony's balance now. And it is correct, he now has 25 tokens. Now the last feature I want to demonstrate would be the token locking or vesting period feature. In this particular feature, you can specify when a person can come to the platform to claim their tokens at a given time. In this case, I'm gonna to allow Tony to come to the platform at this particular time. In fact, let me just adjust the minutes to a few minutes ahead. And he's gonna come and collect 50 more tokens from the platform itself. All right, and just like that, my tokens are locked. Now I'll sign it as Tony now and see if he can claim these tokens. So now that I've signed out of George's account and signed in as Tony, Tony can now go to manage, withdraw, 
and he can click on the details to see if the time for him to withdraw has passed and once he sees the tokens have been unlocked he goes and clicks on withdraw and he approves the transaction and just like that he has his tokens all Tor needs to do now is to go to his wallet and confirm that he has the tokens so this was a quick overview of the Soul Minter platform but please bear in mind the platform is still in beta as there are certain features which have not been released as yet. Now if you head over to their main dashboard, you can see that the Soul Minter token has been created. It is their smart token. Now I was lucky enough to get involved in their ICO, but you can also purchase this token on the Radium exchange. And of course that is not financial advice as you can see there is no established price, market cap and other statistics with the token as yet, but they will come over time. Now I do think this platform has massive potential for the Solana ecosystem and I will keep my ears close to the ground in their Telegram group. I am interested in seeing what projects will be launched on this platform. This is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you found it useful and educational, feel free to like, share and comment below. Now this video was made for you, the members of the Solana community. My channel itself is not monetized and if you guys care to donate a few sol to my channel to help me out, that would be fine. You can also help by also subscribing and hitting that bell notification. This is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. Thank you for watching.